The Aymaras are an original indigenous people that inhabit in a large area that surrounds Lake Titicaca in the Bolivian highlands, the great north of Chile and the Argentine northwest. In that area you can find a great diversity of fishes such as the llama, guanaco, chinchilla, quirquincho, birds like the condor, the giant sagua, the flamingo and the Indian goose. They have livestock and crops which is where they get some of their most important foods like potatoes and corn also made up of quinoa, corn flour, beans, board beans and cultivate products such as chili, garlic, pumpkin, paprika and peanuts and they also get food from nature Some of the difficulties are agreeing on mechanisms to face the scarcity of water resources and the use of renewable energies. They might have different celebrations but among them stand out, the day of the Virgin de la Candelaria, which begins on February 2nd. And the most important celebration is where Aymara indigenous communities celebrate the Indian New Year, now is Wilkakuti, the return of the sun. The Aymara people have survived centuries of economic exploitation and forced acculturation successfully adapting to the most diverse political context. Hoping you have a good day, me, Sofía Hernández, and my friend, Florencia García, are going to talk about the Diaguitas. Hi, Sofía. Do you know about native peoples? Yes, they are really interesting. Of course. What is their name? Their name is Diaguitas. Where do they live? They live in the north Sea of Chile, in the region of Coquimba and Copiapó, from the Copiapó River to the Chuapa River. What kinds of food are popular in the region? Their diet consisted of foods such as corn, squash beans, potatoes and quinoa. How do they get food? They themselves grew their food on the slopes of the mountain and gathered fruits from the area. What kinds of animals live in the region? Vicuñas, llamas, alpacas and guanacos. What are some difficulties of living in the region? Having an arid, almost desert climate and soil and mountainous terrain, they had difficulties, but were able to adapt very well. What festivals or celebrations do they have? Celebrate the winter solstice. Celebrate fertility rituals in the fells and celebrate rituals for the dead. They express themselves through dance and music. How is their life changing? At first, they were village groups. Over time, they began to spread their culture both in valleys and on the coast. And today, they are descendants of the Aguitas, but they do not maintain their culture. It was funny to talk with you, Sophie. Goodbye, see you. Mapuche Exposition Look, we are at the Mapuche People Exposition I have never seen this before You know what is this? Hi, do you need some help? I can guide you for the exposition Yes, please Can you explain to us what is this? That is a kutu A percussion instrument that Mapuche people used to use on their typical ceremonies And what are the name of their typical ceremonies? Some of them are the Niatun and the Watipaki. Sounds interesting! And where do they get their food? And what are the traditional foods? They have many types of traditional foods, like katuto, a mix of flour and water that you can eat with jam or honey, or chochoca, a mix of potatoes. Mmm, so they eat a lot from their harvest, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, actually we have a tasting. If you want to try, come here. <laughs> 